Yes, a lot of things could be on hold this year during the election. Now, me utu me whakahoki mai rāne. Koe rā te whakahau a te kaunihera o te whanganui ātara ki te rōpū waiwhetu Māori mō te waka e tau kume kume hia nei. Nō wai, ka pēhea te mahitahi, ka pēhea tōna whakamahinga a ngā rā e tū mai nei. Tērā pēha ka riro mā te kōti teitei o te whanganui ātara e rā momo pātai katoa e whakatau. A nei a Jodi Ihaka. Ancient custom facing a modern dilemma. This is the controversial waka called Te Raukura. Waka used to carry our ancestors to New Zealand. Today they carry the history and the spiritual anchor for all Māori. This whole exercise has cost a huge amount of money and the, there are further costs to come in that we will have to pay for to do with legal matters. And you're not happy about that, obviously? Oh, I'm, no, I'm not happy about it. And, uh, uh, this is ratepayer money. I'm a citizen and a ratepayer and a city councillor. The whole thing rankles badly. The Wellington City Council paid Wellington Lower Hutt Māori for two waka to be built to commemorate 1990 celebrations. Te Raukura and Te Aniwa Niwa sailed into history with pride and patriotism. Our people contributed um, money uh, to meet the requirements of the 1990 Commission, uh, two of which were that we were to take the walkers to Waitangi. Once the party was over, Te Raukura was housed by the Wellington City Council in their inner city office. They sought my advice and I said no, it wasn't a suitable place. Uh, I later discovered that they had put it in there anyway and um, the result was that it went a banana shape. How did that make you feel? Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, disappointed would be an understatement. Disappointment shared by the Māori Arts Advisor for the Wellington City Council. He claims the Lower Hutt Māori have no right to the waka. This waka belonged to us. Did we pay for it? We paid for it to be carved, then we paid for a second hull to be built, $180,000 in total. We, our legal advice was that it was ours. Marae Investigates was invited to Te Raukura Marae in Waifetu by Donna Hall, the treaty settlement expert, who represents Te Runanganui o Taranaki Whanui ki Te Upoko o te Ika. She refused to speak on camera, but says they are legally prepared for a High Court challenge. She also says they'll prove a partnership of ownership exists between the Wellington City Council and the Waifetu Māori. By paying the 150000 that you mentioned, uh, we would retain total ownership of the waka in our tribal entity and um, it would remain here in this building. Documentation obtained from the Wellington City Council shows a shared ownership partnership never existed and every effort has been made to accommodate the demands of the Waifetu Māori. Chief Executive Gary Poole says in a letter to the Trust Chairman Neville Baker, given your apparent misunderstanding of the time frame for payment, I'm prepared to offer leniency and extend the time again to Monday 5pm. This whole exercise has cost at the moment the canoes and the legal advice quarter of a million. We are, of course, expecting a cheque for 150000 towards the hulls. No legal expenses. We never asked for those. Te Raukura currently sits alongside Te Aniwanewa in a purpose-built house in Waifetu. It was going to sit in this purpose-built whariwaka on Wellington's waterfront. Reports claim it was too big for this building, so it was kept in Lower Hutt. The waka was to be a big draw card for Rugby World Cup visitors. I don't think it'll have any permanent effect, but it's, it's been, a, um, it's been a, a sad issue for our community. I have had dozens of calls from Wellingtonians, Māori as well, non-Māori, tangata whenua, have complained bitterly about the situation. Meanwhile, Hekenuku Mai Busby, 
is the country's top waka builder and expert. He's building a replacement waka. The council says it's not paying for another waka, and the Waifetu Māori say they're not paying for it either. So when you look at this waka, what is the first thing that comes to mind in terms of its future? Well, to my mind, we want to maintain the whole philosophy of its name. We want to maintain it as a thing that our next generation can enjoy and participate in, and in which other people can participate in, not solely Maori people. We also asked Wellington Rangatira, Sir Ralph Ngātata Love, to react to the Waka controversy, but he refused to comment. Madai Investigates understands he's simply not happy with his waifetu whānau. Well, Jodie, it looks like we'll be hearing more on that story. Absolutely, Scotty. We'll keep you posted and let you know what happens.